Hey everybody, Pete Werner here, along with Corey Fiascanaro. Hey guys. Um, roaming around Epcot right now is Denny Sunderly and Craig Williams. Uh, we are here today for the start of the 2020 Festival of the Holidays. Of the holidays. You got it. <laughs> um, had, a, had a little moment there. Um, this is a much, uh, a very scaled down version of the Festival of the Holidays, so a lot of what I wanted to see today was exactly how scaled down yeah. um, and what it is. but. Um, I'm going to have Fiasco turn the camera around in just a second to show you that what I me just mentioned is somebody that I ran into. Um, this is a Thanksgiving weekend, the first day of a festival in Epcot. And I want you to take a look at the crowd. Can you believe that many people are in Epcot right now? Yeah. In a pandemic? Like, oh my God, we're all going to die. <laughs> we're all going to die. How dare these people be here? It should just be me. Right. Um, but... So, yeah, we're looking forward to this. Now, I will say, uh, as I was coming in, uh, some of the kiosks definitely had crowds, definitely right. had lines. Yep. So, uh, you know, I'm being a little facetious here. There are there are people here. Um, the park is uh, closed for uh, new park reservations. Um, so all the reservations are gone. So I'm anticipating the park at capacity today, which is 35% of normal. So there are going to be more people here. But we'll check out and see just how it is. Yeah, right now it's just within the first hour of Epcot opening. So there's still room for people to show up. Also, we can't fail to mention these videos are brought to you by dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. All that information and more in the description below. Let our travel experts help you plan the vacation of your dreams. I'm so glad you remember that. Yeah, Because we got I it. own Dreams Unlimited Travel and I forget to say, <laughs> but I won't forget to say, please, uh, you're watching this on the new Disney Dining YouTube channel. Uh, please go ahead, help us out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. That helps us out a lot with YouTube, so we would appreciate your support. Um, and so, but enough of that. Enough selling stuff, enough pitching stuff. Let's go take a look at the festival. All right, so we stopped at our first booth, which was the Sapphire Holiday Kitchen. Yep. Um, we both tried the Confit of Tremula Chicken Drum with cinnamon Granny Smith apple, uh, toasted almonds, Brussels sprouts, and a Pinot Noir glaze. And now that is, uh, the Granny Smith apple is like an applesauce. It was an applesauce, and that was $9. And then we tried a little dessert that they have called Svenge, S-F-E-N-G, $6.00. Warm beignets with cream, cinnamon sugar, and chocolate sauce. And that was $6. Um, and my opinion on all of it was bleh. Okay, uh, the chicken was as bland as a piece of chicken could be. It was almost like you had an ulcer and your doctor made you eat this. Um, it had no flavor whatsoever if you were not eating the applesauce. Yeah. Um, and how you do this to a couple of, do the same thing to a couple of beignets with a cream sauce in the middle. And Fiasco likened it to a Boston cream Absolutely. donut. And I said, yeah, but without the charm. Right. Um, and also I'm used to paying about a dollar for my Boston cream donuts, not six. And uh, this, uh, it took 20 minutes from the time we got online till the time we got our food. Um, there are three booths open for cashiers, only one cashier, which was the reason why. Yeah. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. I'm not going to proclaim past judgment on that. I just want to make sure people know. But what did you think, Fiasco? Uh, I did think the chicken drums were quite good. They were definitely bland without a doubt, but I think it's a safe pick. What uh, is bland good? So are we you, live streaming? Yeah. Hey, hey everybody, we're, we're also live right hey now as we're recording this. Craig's live streaming, so this is very this is very meta. Yeah. What's going on right now? Absolutely, very meta. But the dominant flavor was definitely the applesauce. I believe Pete's saying, you know, without the applesauce, it's it's nothing. But at least you do. Okay, have but you that. admit it was bland. Yes. And you're like, but it was still really good. No, How, no, no. When is when is bland good. food really good? I would never call it really good. I I think it's quite. I really good. I have to stop letting you do dining reviews okay. because <laughs> you hit your head when you were a kid hey. and something happened. It would, it, this would never be my favorite thing in the festival, but I definitely think 
It's oh, he's going to go home pick. and get his wife and bring her back and get it. Yeah. It's a safe pick for picky eaters for sure. Um, but yeah, not a lot of flavor going on. All right, so let's go uh, see what Craig is doing with the live stream. We're going to head on to another uh, another booth. Sounds good. Taking a break from eating because look at this, guys. Who is all ready for Christmas? He's dressed up. He's ringing his bells. Isn't that just adorable? That is. Come here, Pooh. I'm gonna hit you with my bubble wand. He got a bubble wand. He also got a Santa hat too, like Pooh. You guys are twins. Oh, that's so adorable. Hi. He wants you to shake your wand. That's exactly what he wanted. <laughs> we picked up this homeless woman <laughs> as wondering. we were walking around Epcot and we just felt bad for her, so we fed her. God bless you, <laughs> yeah. very gentlemen. Um, it's, well, you know, it's the holidays, right? We gotta... <laughs> Charitable giving. Yep. So obviously good. Danny is here uh, joining us for this stop, our second stop now in Tuscany, right outside yes. the Italy Pavilion. We tried all three items on the menu. There was the, uh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce these names. There was an Italian flatbread. There was uh, the like almost the Prosets, which is, was almost like a tortellini um, and uh, a, a cannoli. Uh, the Italian flatbread was $8.50. Um, that was served with mozzarella, uh, asiago, and Parmesan cheeses. Right up my alley. For $8.50. Yes, Fiasco had absolutely nothing because he won't eat cheese. There you go. Because this he's is not his booth. He's right. broken. Uh -huh. um, the uh, Persets were four cheese mini beggars pur purses filled with uh, sunset sausage, caramelized onion, pancetta, and cremony mushrooms with a creamy sauce, $9.50. And uh, the cannoli was a crispy fade tree covered, you know, it's a cannoli covered in chocolate. And that was five twenty-five. dollars um, The flatbread, um, I was not impressed at all. I thought it was just, you know, a crappy pizza without any, uh, without any sauce uh, is basically what it was. Yeah, it's, it's a white pizza. So if your kid is here and looking for something pretty, you know, not, not, not too offensive, not too fancy, I guess, that's pretty approachable for a child. It's, but it is a white pizza. There's some oil that's going on on it. So they've made some kind of attempt. There was some garlic, but it wasn't anything nah. to write down on your must eat list. That's for sure. Those purses though, mm -hmm. that tortellini or whatever it is, mm -hmm. that was some good stuff. Yes. That was delicious. It was. The creamy sauce, uh, the filling, the pancetta, absolutely delicious. Now, right now it's about 85 degrees outside little on the warm side when you're in the sun probably not the most ideal dish for a warm day yeah. but so far it is the best thing i've had at either of the two pavilions i've yeah. stopped at that's the that's the one to beat uh, the cannoli was okay it was a cannoli dipped in chocolate but it was nice and cold it came to us nice and cold so if you want i mean that's a that's a bonus if you are talking about really hot pasta Really and then cannoli. Danny was like, okay, is everybody done? I'm like, yeah. And then lo and behold, lo and behold, there's the... Uh, the Persets. The, the, the little, the little uh, tortellinis. Guess who's sitting over there. Those. She's picking them out of the garbage. Me. This is what we found her doing. No. I'm like, oh, this poor thing. No, we're done. This yeah. poor thing. We're done. We're so, done. you know. It's going in the trash. It's all good. <laughs> but it was so, it really was really good. So we're gonna let Denny get back to doing what she's doing here, which is a lot of yes. stuff for the Diz. Yes. Fiasco and I are gonna continue around and we may run into Craig. He's been live streaming us at various points for the Diz channel, but let's uh, see where we end up next. Bye guys. So we're on our way right now to the festival show place to meet up with Craig and hit up another booth. So I just wanted to share this bubble wand with y'all Pete just picked up. My first time I using... I hate these things. Yeah. I hate them. Me I hate too. Them. 
They're, they're obnoxious, but it's yeah, my first time he, using it. He says he hates them and they're obnoxious. He hasn't stopped playing with it since I bought it. Well, now it's my turn to get soap in everybody's eyes. Oh my God, I look ridiculous in this hat. No, you look Christmas, you like you're Hold festive up. and Hold you're up. ready for the holidays. Maybe a little, a little, little, bit. little more French. There you go. Um, okay, so yeah, I've been wearing this thing, which is so hot. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. But anyway, we're in Festival Showplace. Yes. Whatever the hell they're calling it this week. Um, World Showplace. Um, and they've got quite the setup here. It's actually really, really nice. This is a beautiful, beautiful space. Yep. I always love this space for events, been in here a lot for different events. Um, but they have some booths in here, mostly. Um, there is some food, but they've got a lot of desserts, and that's what we tried. Yep. Uh, since we didn't do any real desserts too much right. at some of the other booths. Yeah, just the donut um, thing. So we got the red velvet, the red velvet bunt cake, which was $4. <laughs> We got the chocolate Mickey tart, which was four fifty, and the spaceship Earth cookie, which was five dollars and twenty five cents. Now I did not try the spaceship Earth cookie. Fiasco did. And what did you think of it? So this would be something that you would definitely give to a young kid. Um, it said the spaceship Earth cookie was a salted caramel cookie. There was nothing salted about this at all. It was just straight sugar. Sugar cookie with sugar on top, with sugary stuff in the middle that i guess that was supposed to be the salted caramel but there was no nothing salty about it uh, which what which is what appealed it to me so i would never get it again but a kid would probably really dig it i didn't try that um i tried a few bites of the red velvet bunt cake that had a cream cheese icing over the top and uh, i found the cake on the dry side i think it was particularly good the icing was good but Again, it's supposed to work with the cake, not cover it. And um, the chocolate tart, on the other hand, I thought was very, very good. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Really, really good, rich chocolate. So if you're a chocolate lover, that's a great option. Um, but of course, Fiasco felt just the opposite. Yeah. This is why I say when you watch these reviews, whatever Fiasco likes, go the opposite way. Well, I mean, so as far as the red velvet cake is concerned, it's none of these desserts are really like my favorite in the world. Um, but I would, if I was to pick one to get again, I would get the red velvet cake again. I found it really easy to eat. The cake itself I felt was good quality. And as far as the tart goes, I felt that like that was really difficult to eat. The, the uh, I was about to call them Jimmy's, but you don't probably know them as Jimmy's, you know them as, as sprinkles. The sprinkles that they had on there were like solid rocks. Like, I feel like if I ate that entire thing to myself, the chances of me breaking a teeth would be significantly uh, uh, high. The chances of me breaking a teeth? Breaking a tooth. There would we be go. There significantly we go. high. Really? Um, Are you going to take dining advice from this man? Well, I don't know what to tell you. As the queen of Christmas, I banish him to Universal. Okay. That's well, where I got I just, my. I just, I just got a pass there, so, you know. Look, oh, it's, it's magical. Jackie is sitting somewhere right now going, oh guys, that is so magical. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so magical. Our I little love, bubble wand I there. love you, Jackie, I do. But I love to make fun of her too. I make fun of all of them. Yeah, it's really the pleasure of employing people. It's is that you can mock them to yep. their face and they can't do anything. Nothing at all. It's crazy. But what I can do is I can force you. For a person from New Jersey, yeah. that is like heaven. See, what I can do to Pete though, is I can suggest that he wears a Santa hat in the thumbnail and then tell him now that you wore it in the no, thumbnail, you, know what? you have to wear it in the I video. I was the one who bought it. All of this, right? This was me saying we would do this for the thumbnail. So don't listen to him. Huh? Don't listen to him. But this is cute, right? This is cute. I love this. 
I, I really do. I'm actually attached to this. I'm, I don't know why. You're going to sleep with it tonight. We don't have to get personal. <laughs> All right, folks, well, that's it. That's just a brief look at our experience here today at the Festival of the Holidays. I had, I gotta be honest, yeah. I had a really good time. The weather was gorgeous. Yep. In spite of what some of these lunatics are saying, I think the crowds were great. No, yeah, it, um, it, it, when you're comparing this to last year's festival. That's all you can compare it to. In the people year are, before that. People that are comparing it to right after the parks open, they gotta, they really need to up their meds. That's not the comparison point. You compare it to how it was last year. And that's the benefit, right? It's not anything close to that experience. I had a wonderful time. In spite of his terrible reviews, I love Fiasco. And, lo and so I really enjoyed doing this with you, yeah, Craig. me too. Craig's been live streaming uh, this whole thing uh, over there on, on our Diz YouTube channel. So it's been a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. We'll see you again next time with another vlog or show of the Disney Dining Show. Have a great week.